Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just finishing up on this sign here for a friend of mine that uh, also happens to be the mayor of Tuckertown, Texas, or maybe he's the governor of Tuckertown, Texas. I'm not even really sure. But anyway, I thought he needed a cool sign for a new business venture he's starting here, uh, which is going to be the premier buildings part of Tuckertown. So uh, the last couple of days, just kind of off and on here and there, I've been working on this little sign for him and i've been adding a few things to it like a little piece of walnut shelf with a couple of statues that i made and um so here you can see the shelf mounts that you know just kind of bolts together here and this thing needs a uh, a business card holder you know i was thinking like maybe something for an office area or uh you know somewhere in the facility there for the premier buildings part of tucker town so uh, we're gonna get a business card holder made uh, kind of origami style so let's jump into it all right so that was the cad there in fusion 360 and this is the cam set up in uh, sheet cam and you can see the open contours there on the center with the tabs and that's going to allow it to do the <clears throat> origami fold up so uh, here we are on the true cut cnc machine uh four by eight machine here that uh we're just going to get this thing cut out real quick and just showing you that uh clear path servo with a rack and pinion drive there doing its thing so here it is right off the table. Did a little cleanup of it off camera and um, probably could have folded this up by hand, but I thought I might get a little bit of a crisper bend just throwing it in the vise. And uh, you can see it bends over really, really easy. Edges folding up into place. So, you know, because it's a business card holder, it doesn't need to be fully welded. So all I'm doing is getting a few really quick tacks in the corners. Uh, so the back edge of it, the way I bent it and folded it, those uh, folded up really nice with almost no gap. So you could just do a quick fusion tack there. But the front gaps, they had a little bit more of a noticeable gap. So I just held the filler rod up to it, did a basically a fusion blast right over the top of the filler, melted that right into the metal, had the machine on 200 amps, really quick, really easy. So here putting some studs uh, on the bottom of it so we can bolt this thing down. And uh, now that the studs are there, locating it just in the center, uh, hold, you know, uh, automatic center punch to knock a couple of punch marks in it, drill the holes out, get it fitted up here. Now those those little studs I use are some 632 uh, countersinks, and uh, it's easy to get a fusion tack right on the bevel of the countersink, but they were kind of holding it off of going down flat, so I just countersink the wood a little bit there with a drill and that is pretty much it wraps it up on this video so if you guys need anything custom made like this for a gift for a friend family some business owner somebody's birthday gift anything special like that you know let me know be happy to do it this is not cheap though you know lots of little detail fabrication work so and this is for my friend barry birthday gift and also kind of a gift for him starting his new business thanks guys see you